for this next session, I want you to take out all of your pastels because you're gonna use every color that you have for this final detail part of the picture. We're gonna put the little details in. Now I'm going to use them in a specific order, but you might use them in a little different order. That's okay. But go ahead and just enjoy the color as we finish this rooster. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the gold ochre color that we've used before. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that gold right here around all this red area on the head of the chicken. I'm gonna take my red and actually, I'm going to make this comb a little bit bigger. As I look at it, I think, you know, I just think he would look better with a little bit bigger comb. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that and smear that in. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is really work in this area and I'm gonna work with some white. I am not going to do a lot of uh, smudging the paint anymore. I'm going to just let the pastel be how it touches down with the texture, okay? So I'm gonna put some white in here and just leave it because actually, see how that almost looks like feathers? I'm pushing down and letting up. And I'm letting that come down over top of some of that brown. See how that looks like feathers? Just go ahead and just go over your entire white area. And I'm putting a lot of pressure on there. I don't know if you can see, you know, as I'm doing that, just putting pressure on that area. What I'm gonna do next is put a little bit of white right at the bottom of this bird. Again, I'm kind of twisting up into the bird. And then I'm gonna put a little bit here at the back. Again, I'm still using the pastel on its side for all of this. I'm not using the tip yet. I'm not into the little fine details. If you want, you can even bring a little bit of this up around some of those feathers and the tail, the sickles. You can bring some white back up here into its neck as well. Okay, white is a good color. It's going to really lighten things up. Now what I would like to do is take a dark green and we're gonna work on those sickles. I'm gonna take my dark, dark green and I'm going to underneath some of these feathers where there would be shadow, I'm gonna put a little bit of a shadow with that black green, okay? So that's what we're using first. Actually on this project, we're using all of the greens, the three greens that we have and the white. That's all we're gonna be working with right now. I don't know if you notice, this dark green almost looks black. Do you see that? And as I am um, drawing with this, I'm drawing short lines. Oops, that kind of broke there. But I'm drawing short lines so that it seems more soft. I'm not just doing a long line. If I would do just a long line, it would look pretty fakey. So again, just figure out where you wanna put some of this underneath the tails for a little bit of shadow, these sickles, something like that. We don't need a whole lot of that. And then go ahead with your other green that you have not used with yet. It's actually your yellow green color. And go ahead and just put a little bit of that color through a few places. Now, some of you might say, I don't want my chicken to have green tail feathers. Well, that's fine. Do it how you want. I mean, if you want, if you want to put purple in here, go ahead and per put purple. That's fine too. Okay, this looks good. It's just where I broke that pastel. I feel like I'm going to go over that a little bit back with this blue-green pastel we had at the beginning and fix that area. But otherwise, I think our tail is just pretty well the way I want to maybe go over with white a little bit to soften some of that. I don't know if you notice, too, the tail feathers don't all have to go out this way. They can come down over top of each other. So like this white, I just put one down over top of there. I could do another one if I want. See, like that? Then it just makes it look like there's a lot more feathers. Since we're using these colors, let's go ahead and finish the grass as well. I'm gonna put away my white, but get out my dark green and just put some dark green pieces of grass. Now be careful as you're doing grass, 
don't do this, okay, where they're even. That looks real fakey. The other thing I don't want you to do is just do this, you know, where you have these little things coming up. That's going to look fakey as well. So I'm going to try to smear those out a little bit here. And go back to where we were. You can kind of see how I can go back. I'm just going to go put my blue green over top. I just kind of got rid of those pieces of grass. And what you want is you want them to look wild and free and like they're bl blowing in the wind. Um, and But yet no specific pattern with them. Now, if you find sometimes that you cannot even put pastel on because it's so thick, all of the little uh, textures have been used up. I mean, it's all smooth and so your pastel does not want to stick anymore. Go ahead and spray this with either hairspray or a fixative and then that'll put just enough grit on there so that you can go ahead and put more pastel on there as well. I'm going to go ahead and take my other, that yellow green, and just put some of that in as well. Just, I'm just trying to get some different colors going in this grass. And if you want to come back in with a little white, you can. That's up to you. Again, this is all up to you. If you want to put some gold, actually gold would look nice. Or remember that brown that we put in there? That would be really pretty as well. Let's just put a little bit of that color in there. See that? How that all adds? What I'm trying to demonstrate by this is any color that we've used in this painting, we should try to put it all over the painting somewhere. Now the only one that I'm going to be careful with is that red. We're going to put some more red in the bird, but I want to be careful not to overdo the red because that's going to be our pop color. It's, a, it's the thing that brings our attention right into that face. And so we want to leave that area very special. So in that area, we're going to use our red, which brings our attention right there. We're going to now go ahead and work on the hackles, which is actually this neck area here on the, they're the long feathers that kind of come over the neck. And we're going to work on the body as well. What I'm going to do is just use the browns that you have, the browns and the rest colors. So those four colors are what we're going to use for this next section. I'm going to go ahead and not use the black brown, but the middle brown. It's a real rich color. And right here on the hackles, first of all, I'm going to put some little dots. See that? Just right in this area, some little tiny dots. I don't know if you've noticed that on chickens, the feathers right here on this chest area, they'll have that kind of a texture. And then what we're going to do with that same brown is just kind of come down and put some dark. It's almost like we're putting it around where the bottom of the wing would be coming. So just kind of touch it with little tiny strokes. See how I just did that? We're also going to use little strokes of brown right back here in this area as well. I'm just kind of twisting my hand. Again, I don't know if you're seeing, but I'm using the side of the pastel. I'm not using the tip. Even on this area, I wasn't using the tip. I was using the side and just putting a little texture, something like that. Now to continue on with these hackles, I'm going to use this light rust color that we've used a little bit already in this area. And I'm going to just bring a little bit of that color down around into this neck area. See that? I'm just kind of, again, I'm not using the tip, I'm using the side, but just getting that softness, to feel that softness coming around. This is one place that I would give you permission if you want to, to just carefully soften, because we want these to look very soft. See that? If I just bit, touch it just a little bit, It'll soften that color and make it feel like you just could almost pet the rooster because it's so soft. 